we back at it again everyone thanks for tuning in on another closing bell with your boy mr stacks y'all know how we do it about this time markets almost coming to a close here it's about 235 on august 2nd today is monday and well we've had a few things going on throughout the day a few stocks are showing some price jump but uh the ones we were fo focusing on this morning as well as what we've talked about over the last few days not too real real big of moves but we are showing you know a little bit of some price action here which is not necessarily a bad thing just because we haven't seen the actual pop in these prices but I just kind of wanted to touch base as to how we've been looking here especially for a Monday and moving into the week but Zella Technologies y'all for those of y'all that have read uh, read the thumbnail there uh, this is what we're kind of focused on this afternoon uh, checking out the chart here on the daily as you can see we hit a high about 304 303 this morning so we're touching you know back touching back down on that three dollar mark uh, we did hit a low I believe of like 250 or no I don't think it went that low this morning let's check back here came back down to like 268 or so and then we just took off though and it's been a green day for Zella Technologies as we start to hit these levels again are we gonna be breaking out soon well it's hard to really say but that's why we're kinda wanting to look at the charts a little more deeper as far as some of the hourly four hour the 30 minutes see exactly how we've been moving here short term and as you can see here looking into the four hour we're showing an uptrend y'all we're starting to trend back up here you know we've been showing that resistance around that three dollar mark as you can see here this happened a couple of days ago also uh, or earlier last week as you can see we hit these same levels and we're starting to on the four hour just starting to show resistance come down but we're still showing that uptrend y'all we're seeing higher lows and that's a good sign uh, I'm looking to maybe break out through this three dollars here in the near you know couple of days and all we need is some more volume to come in hopefully we can start to push through some of these resistance levels here we're only at 29 percent of our daily average today and we need a lot more volume if we're going to see uh, some of this good uh, price action you know as far as those good jumps dollar two dollars uh, who knows how high these things can go but we, we, we really don't want to start trending up here by the sin i want to see a pop I know we've been following this one for a while but we really need that momentum to start to push push this stock up here but we just haven't been seeing it here over the last couple of weeks uh, digging into the hourly it's kind of looking a little more you can see some of these other levels here but yeah I, I like to follow it on the 30 minute this is kind of the day trade and how I like to to look at it. But look, we've been riding up the moving average today, as you see. This is the 21-day moving average. So a lot of buying uh, power right there, pushing it up as they tried to sell it. Nope, not today. And we just came back down. We've touched that level again, pushed up. We're still seeing that resistance here around the 290 or so, 295. But hey y'all, we're still pushing, you know what I'm saying? We're hitting that VWAP right now on the hour, on the minute, and the five minute. You know, it's kind of been playing with that VWAP here throughout the day. Uh, it was a false breakout, thinking we were going to break above it. it. Ended up coming back down. And right now, uh, this could be a key level to buy in for those of y'all who are looking to trade in the short term. I really feel like we're going to be breaking through $3 here this week. Uh, call it where you see it though you know as far as when you think would be your best position to jump in on I myself would like to see it come back down here around 250 or so 260 uh, but hey I already got a position in here that I've been holding uh, hopefully we can ride it up to closer to five dollars or so um, I really feel like we can get uh, probably above five more towards the seven dollar range as you can see we have some all-time highs of 545 and we have 782 here back in March uh, so these are the key levels to watch and we do have some of these dollar marks in between where we've been seeing a lot of traffic for selling and just be mindful when you do take those positions here to make sure we close above these levels if we're looking to push higher 
don't get in too early and hopefully you don't lose out any money if it tends to go the other way just kind of plan ahead on these y'all always look at some of these uh, longer term charts as well as some of the short term you know four hour a daily even the weekly sometimes you know as you can see here on the weekly we're showing a green week already even though it's early in the week on a Monday this is the levels we need to break through as you see here so we're looking to break through this uh, hopefully this week y'all so let's keep this in mind y'all Zella Technologies trying to make some money seven dollars or so that would be nice five dollars it's kind of my weekly projection there We're looking at a good earnings to be reported here I believe on the 5th or it's still later in the week but uh, hopefully we get some good news here as you can see over the last you know months so we've been showing nothing but gains y'all nothing but gains it's got to be a good reporting coming out I think they had uh, some new technology that they released also on their platform and things like that so I really feel like uh, the stock's got places to go so we're holding it down holding our position tight uh, we end up coming back down I might try to jump on some more I don't know if we will uh, can't be too greedy though even though we feel like we're missing out sometimes just kind of plan ahead y'all I don't always try to put all your eggs in one basket as they say some of the other stocks though we have up today uh, we've been following also uh, support.com I believe they're also they also have earnings coming out soon I don't know if it's this week or next but I know it's a uh, pretty pretty uh, pretty close here uh, we're still seeing uh, some holding uh, support around seven dollars a little bit above uh, we would like to see these ten dollar you know area nine ten dollar range we're only showing about 56 percent of our volume our daily average uh, not too much coming in I know last week we had a good week a good run uh, we've seen a low about four dollars when I bought in I'm still holding my position here y'all four dollars or so I wrote it all the way up I should have sold but I kept it I really feel like we could squeeze higher so I'm gonna wait and see when uh the earnings come out you know if we don't start start to see us sell through these levels anyways before then and I'm hoping that maybe we can gain up a little more before I decide to pull out I'm already up pretty much doubled my money so I'm not you know feeling too bad where we're at I really feel like we can go up higher though before I really decide to pull us I'm just gonna wait you know another few days see what happens here but support.com y'all for those of y'all that weren't aware check out the videos uh, this is a stock you're looking to trade and if you feel like we still see some upward potential there hey find a good spot y'all I got one at you know six dollars another one at seven dollars we may even show one around this level here eight dollars or so so if you want to look to buy in, think we want to ride up higher, hey, just uh, find a good spot to jump in there, yo. NAOV, Nano Vibronics. This is one we've been following also. I took a position on Friday on this stock. Uh, not too much movement today. We did come up this morning, hitting a high about like 280 or so. Uh, I know some of y'all were talking about we should have sold, but I think we'll be seeing those levels again soon. I don't think uh, we missed it yet. As you can see, you know, we hit that level this morning. But we're still seeing a lot of uh, resistance there. But we've been kind of moving sideways, starting to consolidate on that 50 day moving average, as well as the other moving averages are starting to touch base. So, you know, how I say about those moving averages, we may see a squeeze here in the near short term here, and hopefully we'll see it, see some more volume and stuff come in tomorrow. If we can stay at these levels, though, you know, we'll be seeing that that higher number here. 375, we can see on the daily. We hit a high uh, last week or so. I really feel like we're going to be moving closer to $5. On Weeble, I did have a video posted this morning. Y'all can check out. It's to see in my price prediction on this stock here. Uh, I believe it was closer to the $5 range as to the trend line we're drawing here. But, yeah, check it out, y'all. I'll, I'll post it on the bottom of this one here. I can catch yourselves up on that footage there uh, EXPR is another express this is another stock I talked about I don't know if it was last week or the week before I've been watching it uh, volumes is starting to build up today we're still not above uh, you know our daily average uh, but we've been seeing some good price movement here and we're starting to touch levels as you can see and we're looking for a breakout here pretty soon so we're starting to consolidate a little bit 
throughout the day as well as on the daily and we're still trending up here as you can see also little by little so we're looking to break through this level we'll probably start to see these other highs let me know what y'all think about this EXPR y'all we hit a high of $14 here back in January kind of been consolidating since but we've been kind of trending up in a consolidation since as you can see here from lows to lows so it's, it's actually a healthy looking chart yeah looking to break through some of these levels pretty soon it's kind of how I'm seeing it let me know y'all's thoughts on the XPR y'all as uh, so we can look into the weekly also look at this weekly at that weekly uh, I know these these highs are coming pretty soon they're coming y'all you can see it's already starting to squeeze right here you just need like a catalyst to drive this stock and bam we're gone you know they'd be squeezing these stocks I don't know what the short interest is on these uh, stocks here I know there's a it's a lot of volatility at times in the stock. People be in and out trading and it could push the volume up pretty pretty heavily on this one. I know this has been in those forums, uh, Reddit traders and stuff. And this one can draw in a lot of attention pretty rapidly. But uh, the weekly is looking real healthy. It's been trending up over the last few weeks. And the last three weeks we've actually been green. And we're starting to push on that 200 day. And it's coming y'all, it's coming. But yeah, uh, comment below. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this stock here, EXPR. Maybe we can touch more, touch uh, more on this one here. Maybe dig in a little deeper. But this is the stocks I was watching throughout the day. We got some other ones here on the scanner. Uh, nothing is really too fascinating. A lot of these have already been moving. But uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think as far as anything else y'all might be watching. Anything else? Uh, I could probably put some eyes on, give you my opinion on my own analysis, let me see uh, as far as any of those those charts and we can talk about those also but uh, yeah y'all appreciate y'all tuning in this afternoon hanging with your boy and we'll catch up in the morning, we'll uh, talk about Zella, see where we're at with Zella and Nano Vibronics, we're going to also update y'all on that one also But appreciate y'all and we'll talk talk then y'all peace out